Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed and liked our videos, shared them, and already turned on their notification bell so that they know every time we post a video. Thank you guys so much. Um, and today's being my Marina IUD taken out. Um, I am feeling nervous, anxious, excited, um, just really everything because I have been on some type of birth control for eight years now. So I originally started on Depravera, the shot, and um, started gaining a little weight. My mood started swinging from all over the place just way more often than I would have liked. So I talked to my doctor and she recommended Morena. Um, a few of my other family members have the Morena already and so I talked with them just to see how they like their experience I guess so um, I went ahead and got the Morena late 2018 um, so it's been a little over four years or almost four years and I have been having a little bit of cramping nothing outside of the normal like where I needed to call my doctor to have it removed immediately um, but I am just kind of over being on birth control I kind of want my body back about to go in and have it removed um, my experience with the Mirena was personally traumatic for me like it hurt so bad even after taking the medication the night before that was supposed to help with the day of procedure like you can't even tell me nothing about how that pain was like I feel like I die on that table <laughs> like some people call it dramatic but that was the first time like I had ever had even my doctor that close in all up in my cervix and all that like that hurt so bad for me personally and then when I had to go for like my week or two week checkup to make sure that it was where it was supposed to be and it hadn't moved like of course just my luck it moved and so I had to have it taken out and then put back in again so that was scary all on its own like I ended up calling my mom and crying and like I don't want to get this put back in because it hurt so bad the first time and without her pep talk I probably wouldn't have gotten it put back in but I originally got on birth control just because I was just having such terrible cycles and cramps like they were the worst like medications were weren't really working for me so just to kind of get rid of it all together is when I started the depot and then again like I said I started not really liking um, the depot and having to go to the doctor and get that shot every three months was just becoming a little annoying so that's the whole reason why I got the Mirena um, when I first got it I was told that it could stay in for five years now I'm seeing that it has upgraded to six or seven I don't know I've had it for four and it's time for it to go um, so about to go in see my doctor and have it removed <sighs> I cannot believe this like I have been on birth control for a good chunk of my life like I I don't even know this is gonna be crazy like I haven't even bought any psych like period products in years so I'm not looking forward to that by any means but it's coming out bye <laughs> And then I would start, uh, are you already out of vitamin or anything like yes. that? Yes. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we always say try to be on that at least 30 days, you know, in case you get pregnant right away or anything like that. But, um, and do you get periods right now? Not 
really okay. like I was just telling the nurse that it might come every 400 okay. days or like you yeah. know something yeah. crazy like okay. that yeah so it's hard to say I mean they will come back sometimes it's as quick as you know a few weeks sometimes it might take uh four to six weeks typically I mean typically it's not gonna be like six months before they come mm -hmm. back um, but especially if you guys are eager to get pregnant sooner than later. No. Nope. Okay. So I'm saying, let's say it takes two months. That's fine with us. Yeah. So it, it's just a matter of the, your lining growing back enough that there's something to shed. So most of the time it's going to happen within like four to six weeks. But if it's three months down the line and you still haven't had a period, let us know. Um, okay. So we can see. And which it looks like you usually come around June mm -hmm. anyway. So we'll see you around that time for your annual. So hopefully I'm not going to make you scream. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Keeping one second, but no, it's usually just a quick cramp. It's completely different from how it feels going in. <laughs> so, yeah, thank God. Gonna... Feel me touch, and then I'm just gonna put the speculum in and look for those strings. And then you, this is where you're gonna feel that cramp. Okay. Um, take a hold of those strings there. And then show it people want to see but you did great so let me get that out and then you can scoop back and sit on that okay all done it's out um it wasn't really that bad um there was like a little slight cramp when uh, my doctor took it out and she did show me it to make sure that it was out so here we go Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, it has been officially 48 hours since I had my IUD removed, and I thought I would just do a quick little update. Um, I did notice, like, some small little acne trying to pop in. Like, you might not be able to see it, but that little guy right there is a little sore. Um, that wasn't there before. Um... And then like a tiny, tiny bit of like last day of cycle spotting, if you catch my drift. Um, but that's pretty much it. So no complaints. Like I feel fine. Um, I noticed like one mood swing, <laughs> but that could just be a normal everyday Kayla, to be honest. But the acne and then the, the little bit of spotting is the only update I have right now after... 48 hours. Bye. Good morning, guys. Um, I just now got up and I figured I would do a little quick check-in um, about how the IUD removal is going. Um, it's been a week officially and I've had a headache every single day. Um, I did officially get my cycle back. Um, like literally since the last time that I recorded, it came back all the way. So now I'm just waiting for it to end. Um, this will be either the last day or day six, but I definitely don't miss this. <laughs> and I can feel my mood swinging like crazy. So like I had to apologize to my husband, like it's not really me or maybe it is the real me. I don't know, but my moods are definitely just like all over the place and I'm really hungry. Like I feel like I was a snacker just like regularly, but now I just feel like I'm hungry all day, every day. So I got like a appetite change. And like I said, I have these headaches like every single day and mood swings. But that's pretty much it for a week update. Um, but yeah. I don't really have any other complaints, I guess. Just if I could just wake up without a headache one day this week, that would be wonderful. Um, if anybody else has experienced this, please uh, let me know in the comments um, what your experience of your IUD removal or any birth control, just like you, you ending it. Let me know how your experience was. Um, but yep, yeah, that's it.